British keyboardist, pianist, and vocalist John Gosling, best known for his work with the Kinks, has died. He was 75. The iconic English rock band announced the news in a tribute post to Instagram on Friday, one day after Gosling's death. We are deeply saddened by the news of the passing of John Gosling. We are sending our condolences to John's wife and family, the post read. The tribute also included individual statements from each member of the band. Dave Davies shared, I'm dismayed and deeply upset by John Gosling's passing. He has been a friend and important contributor to the Kinks music during his time with us. Deepest sympathies to his wife and family. I will hold deep affection and love for him in my heart always. Great musician and a great man. We lost a dear friend and colleague. He was a great musician and had a fantastic sense of humor, which made him popular member of the band. Mick Avery contributed. He leaves us with some happy memory. God bless him. Gosling first joined the Kinks, which was founded in 1963, back in 1970, and auditioned with his demos of some of their biggest hits, including This Time Tomorrow and Power Man. Gosling's first major contribution and recording with the group appeared on their 1970 single Lola which had already been written but the final mix incorporated Gosling's piano playing and backing vocals. He played with the group for eight years until he quit the band in 1978 and was ultimately replaced with Ian Gibbons. In 1994, Gosling formed the band The Cast Off Kinks, which featured a lineup of former members of The Kinks, who had played with the band over the decade. He retired from the band in 2008. The Cast Off Kinks also paid tribute to the musician sharing, The Cast Off Kinks are devastated by the news of the death of former keyboard player John the Baptist Gosling and posting a link to a Facebook tribute page set up in Gosling's honor.